Another glorious day to you, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, for wherever you're watching us. You're welcome to Rero TV. And I am Apo Rero Henry Apos. Today we are in Ogara and we are the home of uh, Honorable Mrs. Philomena Edidi Umokoro, one of the aspirants for House of uh, Reps uh, representing Etio Federal constituency. Mama, uh, it's always nice uh, speaking to you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, tell us, Ma, for some time we've not uh, heard from you uh, concerning your consultation and your movement, Ma. Uh, what is uh, the true state of things now in terms of you uh, speaking to leaders and delegates on your ambition? I was actually desiring to be in the House of Representatives, as in, I was desiring to be given the opportunity to contest for the House of Representatives, knowing that um, in its request, other people that have been in PDP, other um, members of PDP that are aspiring right now for that position that is there, the one that is there, Honorable Ben, right Honorable Ben Ibaba, and um, the other aspirant, right Honorable Eratake Boiswemi, um, they gone for other positions, and uh, to me, I thought maybe it should be, you know, actually, you know, in PDP they will tell you share the money, but to me, I want, I was thinking that it should be shared the position. Since one has been, uh, both of them have been in different uh, elective position, I'll be given the opportunity to to aspire for this as of rep this time around. As you can remember, I aspired for the House of Assembly from the same time with Honorable Ben Igbapa, we were asked to step down and I did step down. And this time around, I was thinking that I'll be given the opportunity to, to run for the House of Representatives. Uh, knowing that um, we are supposed to represent our people and uh, actually desire to represent my people. But there's a clause. You know, in every political setting, there are leaders. Yes. And um, my leaders, I was told not to even bother to buy the form. And, well, um, I felt bad at first, yeah. but later I thought about it. Um, it's painful that because this, somebody abused me, I would say abuse, when we went for one of the meetings. He, he was like, are you an aspirant? Did you buy from? It pained me to my bone because Actually, who we were supposed to allow to be allowed to buy forms. After you buy your form, it shows that you are an aspirant. Yes. I hope and I pray that if God gives me the opportunity to aspire again, I will not listen to anyone that will say, don't go and buy your form. That's just the where I regret about. I should have bought my phones. And um, even if I'm called after buying my phone, that don't go, I will still be satisfied because I'll be recognized as an aspirant. So what that brother told me that you are an aspirant, paid me. And um, well, I forgive him, uh, but to me, I'm, I'm an aspirant. Nobody does it for you but yourself. That is what I desire. I'm an aspirant. I aspired. I was told to step down. Wow, very uh, heartbreaking there, considering the mammoth support that, that you are getting and the, yeah. your followers. You know, they must have they must have been feeling let down now that uh, are we you know? But uh, uh, let's now. 2023 is approaching. 
there's so much time before another election. What, what, what are your plans? What should we look forward? If PDP does what they are supposed to do, or uh, they are going to do what they are supposed to do, I will remain in PDP and um, work as usual. I will work for the party. I will make sure, to me, PDP should be a party that would listen to the people. Also, the people should make sure they pick the best for the party in all the elective positions and that is what I desire for us to do. My supporters, I would tell them to be calm and if they know they really support me, they, would, they wanted me to be in that position, they should calm down. They should um, support me in any move that I make in this progress into 2023. They should support me as well because um, I've told some people is where you get the dividends of democracy. That is where you should follow. That is the person you should follow. It's not where you will not be recognized as a party member. You will not be, you will not be, be given that relevance. Not where you will not, you will not be, be accepted and maybe ask for your input in every decision that should be made. If for somebody to be a leader, it never means the person has been in a certain place or has been doing whatever he or she has been doing for a long time and they now you are now recognized as a leader. Yes. Not that every time you're looked at as just a mere member, just a member, you're not important. That's not what we should do in PDP. As others are progressing, they're becoming older, they should build up those that are below. Not like it is said, if, if a leader has no no, no person that would, that would take after him or her. It therefore means that leader is a failure. If you listen to just one person and you do whatever you're doing, it therefore means you are not a leader that sees politics or party as important. If you know you are a leader that sees the party as important and you need to call people that will take after you, you would want a lot of people to become leaders after. From what so you just said limiting now, yourself. Yeah. From what you just said now, is it possible is is a possible defection on the cards for you? Um no right now. No. No right now. I'm not going to defect. I'm not going anywhere, I'm in PDP. Okay. But, I said it before. Yes. If certain actions, like when I declared and I was attacked. Yes, we saw we saw If that. I see a thing like that, I will withdraw. Because politics is not a do or die affair. Yeah. Yeah. It's something that is like we are families. We should work together. If at this time we're aspiring, people see you as an enemy. It therefore means if they become what they're aspiring to become, they will treat you as an enemy. So if I see an altar of that kind of treatment, I will withdraw. Because my life is given to me to achieve things. For me to live my destiny, I wouldn't allow somebody else to stop me from living my destiny. So if there is a two-part, I'll take a part that would 
make me achieve my destiny. Wow, achieving a destiny away from a princess, Honorable Mrs. Philomena Elide Omokoro. Mama, we hope, uh, we wish you the very best. As Thank you, you very much. As you continue. Yeah. Uh, yes, and also to your followers, please remain steadfast. Uh, yeah. She's always there. My name is Akurero Henry Akos. I'm from Ogara. You're watching Vero TV.